the first item on the agenda are the minutes. Is there any uh, amendments or corrections to the minutes? Nothing's changed since we all had this discussion. 
discussion. No, that's a change since we had the discussion. Oh, and one other thing, we changed the park store requirements. What was that, Alicia? Did we change it? No. No. A thousand dollars. It used to be five hundred, now it's a thousand. Before the park has to have a first term. So since we will vote again tonight and we also have someone absent, we, we won't have to go a third time. No, no, no. It's just the only time you gotta have two separate meetings is if it's not unanimous with everybody here. Okay. But, but he voted in the first. Yeah. And it wouldn't make a difference whether the same officer was absent both times. Okay. It wouldn't make any difference. Okay. As long as you have a majority of the board vote positive on two different readings at two different meetings. Okay. But you can't have a second reading here in the same meeting as the first. If yeah. everybody yeah. 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 Everybody yeah. present, yeah. everybody yeah. voted in favor. Yeah. You've got to know both. You then cannot. You've got to wait another one. Gotcha. Thank you. Okay, I'd make a motion that we adopt this ordinance. Do you have a motion to adopt the ordinance? Do we have a second? Second. I have a second. Is there discussion of the ordinance? Seeing none, Jim, roll call vote, please. Mr. Phelps? Yes. Mr. Robert? Yes. Smith? Yes. Ms. Butler? Yes. Mr. Maynard? Yes. All voted in favor, one absent. Okay. Ordinance carried. Uh, ordinance that passes on final reading. Next to hold, the next is item F, discuss and consider resolution increasing natural gas rate right down. Okay. I don't like coming with this information, especially this one for all energy. In your packet, item F, we've always used a uh, cost of gas adjustment month. So each month we adjust gas rates to the customer based on our cost of gas. And then we have always added a markup to make up for our cost for running the department. Uh, since 2010, that markup has been $2 inside the city and $2.50 outside. That's since 2010 for 12 years. We had the same markup. We've also had a floor in place for several years. And due to the difference between our cost of gas and the floor, we've been able to make enough money that we've made money each and every year till this year that we just finished in June. Based on preliminary numbers before the audit adjustments, final audit adjustments, we've done ours in house, the auditors still make a few more. This year the gas department lost thirty-six thousand dollars. Now that'll be adjusted a little bit up or down. It could be fairly positive or it could be even more negative we get done with all but we cannot continue with two dollar markup and make money now this is happening probably at the worst possible time because the cost of gas to customers if you look on your graph on page help two you've got two lines on that graph and if you look at the graph the straight line of course is our floor and if you look starting in july 21 we went above the floor, and we were above the floor every single month this past fiscal year, except one month, and it was a few cents below, was about five cents below or something. So basically, we've been above the floor every month the entire year. And so because of that, that's the reason we've lost money this year. Whereas before that day, you see the blue line, I think that's blue, is below the red line, and that portion between the two lines is where we've made enough money to actually break it. But all our expenses are going up, our cost of materials is going up, employee cost is going up, everything's going up, but our markup has increased in 12 years. So we don't see us coming back down to the floor, maybe ever again. Definitely not for the next couple of years, we're thinking. So the only way the gas department's not going to lose a large amount of money in the coming couple of years is we're going to increase the Market. Uh, we're proposing a dollar increase, or we're making the two dollars three dollars, and we still don't know if that's going to be enough. To be totally honest with you, it depends on our gas consumption this winter, how cold it is, how many units we can sell, etc. Whether we'll actually even break money, make, make any money next year. Of course, let's face it, we're not supposed to make a lot of money. We're just supposed to have, have enough in reserve to make improvements and move forward to the next year. That's our purpose. So this is going to cut it for those even with the increase. Can you run the numbers just say if all things remain steady, what that dollar would mean? Well, depends on how many units we sell. And the way we figured it, the dollar will barely break us even. Uh, I was really needing a dollar and a quarter. But I know right now, especially the way gas is so much more expensive it will be to us and then to the customer. I thought if we can 
five get through this winter and see where we're at in the middle of the winter and we'll have a better idea. Uh, but we do have some cash reserves, worst case scenario, that we can operate on if we have it. It won't last long though. But, so you see it's even if we say a dollar by the time we get through the winter spring 12th, January, February, mm -hmm. that we may be back having another conversation. Could possibly do that. Or it may be this time next year before next week. One or the other. But it's all going to be on the lot on what the market does. Now we are keeping the floor, and actually we're increasing the floor inside the city from six fifty to seven dollars. If gas did happen to drop, we could maybe still, you know, we still have a floor in place that you might make a little money that way. But I don't see that happening this winter. Mm -hmm. We booked gas for this month of September, the, uh, uh, three days from the end of the month, $9.35. Our negative gas, that's not getting to our gate, that's negative gas in five minutes, $9.35. How much money are we talking about on people's bills? Okay, the increase, at Keith's request, I did run some numbers. The increase of the dollar, yeah. uh, we picked a few customers, one of them being Keith Smith. Yeah. Keith Smith's gas bill, a dollar, will cost his gas rate to go up $85.90 over the six months of the year. Oh, for six months. Six months. $85.90. Yeah. Now that's what the dollar costs. That's not what his gas bill is going to go up because the cost of gas is so much. I figured it again today. His gas bill total is going to go up between 79 and 80 percent compared to last one. But that's not our fault. That's going to go up anyway. Yeah, it's going to go up anyway. Yeah. yeah, it's going to go up a lot anyway. The, the dollar is only going to be 20 percent or less of the increase. The rest of it is going to be just the cost of gas. And I did my gas bill the same way. It's going to cost me with my usage last year. The dollars will cost me $43.40 over six months. But my gas bill will go up a total of two hundred sixty-five dollars all uh, through the whole winter, six, six months. months. Okay. Yeah, six months. Your his gas bill is going to go up five hundred twenty-one. He gives you more gas. His house is bigger. So you know, there's a lot of numbers floating around there. But the biggest part of the numbers, the biggest part of this increase, is the customers going to say we have no control whatsoever. Well, it's a good thing to do it this way because that way everybody will will have. Yeah, it's just one person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going to hit everybody the same. Inside yeah. city, outside city, the industrial rate, everything's going to be the same dollar added to the market. Do you think the dollar will be enough? I truly do not know. I'll just be totally honest with you. I think it's where we need to start and see how the winter goes. And then we'll have to, of course, if we wait till February, it'll be too late. Or say it's a two. It'll, it'll be, be too late. If we wait till February, it'll increase anymore. But I hate to raise it right now until we know. But we have an extreme cost. We get the markup on every unit we sell. So we have a cold winter and sell more units. That could be more profitable. If we have a warmer winter, then all bets are off. Cold and snow. Yep. If it gets cold and stays cold, we, well, we might break even and make a little money. Well, all the next is If you do remember, we had the floor, and our floor with what? Seven. With floor, with our floor used to be 650. Oh, it was seven, then we loaded it to 650. 650, yeah. that's right. It was seven, then we loaded it to 650. It was seven, the reason we did that because we were buying gas at a very reasonable rate that we thought we were really making too much, so we lowered it, lowered it so we wouldn't, so we get the, get the benefit to the, to the customer. And then, of course, after after this, let's be honest, this administration, they come in, they stop cracking. And we're in, and so it's it, the cost of gas has gone tremendously up. It's gone just double. Yeah, our pipeline cost for gas went from like two sixty five, two seventy five a month to nine dollars and thirty five cents this month. Ooh. I mean, there's nothing we do. About. And if you look at it, if you look at it, Jim, we look at it every day. It, it, it it's, it's got up over ten one day. It will drop down to about seven something. It's always amazing. It hits it pretty good the day we have to lock, the day we have to lock in. It always kind of the day we are on that lock in happens. It's always six cents higher that day than the rest of the day. You know, drop back off two days later. Yeah. But it's just this the market. It's always been that way. And normally we have cheaper gas in the summer, but because there's so much more electric generation load on natural gas now, you 
you don't have that low dollars in the summer, they're buying, they're selling more gas to the electric generation in the summer than people buying in the winter for heating. So that's keeping that cost pretty much level all year. Yeah. Uh, so it's not like I've been able to eject in our storage tank any cheap gas in summer because there hasn't been any cheap gas. I know when looking at this, when I look at the bull we've got, of course the gas is enterprise fund, but we don't have, they're not going to come set our rates if we lose, but no. No. we just got to have the But right now, we have had a lot of usage for the overhead. We're in the whole $212,000 right now. So that's going to buy the last thing about the gas, but it's, we got to do something. Yeah. Nobody wants to do it. I know, but nobody wants to do it, especially this year. Mm -hmm. Now everybody's here with so much already. Yeah. Using our gas bill this time of year is like $40,000, 50000 our gas bill has been $168,000, $190,000. Well, this shows $190,000. Yeah. 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 I'm totally shocked that we had 30 anything from the very good. Because they use it for their production. They do have a discount that we get that we negotiated many years ago, but still they're paying them. They're paying what it's, you know, that, what it's costing, so they're, they're, it's costing them some money. Yes, they're passing up. Yes, yes, yes it is. Mm -hmm. What's the pleasure of the board? Contract, and then they will give us an estimate of the fixing windows that are leaking. 
And that will be a change order. It will be more money. But that was the only. And there was some, uh, was it some infrastructure about wiring? Or uh, this, does not include, this does not include wiring for data or voice. Line. So I'll have to have a subcontract for that that I will do the seal new direct. Any idea what that's going to cost? I'm guessing it would be probably maybe less than $10,000. But that's just my, my guess. I don't know. We don't know about the witness. No. We have no idea. Mm -hmm. Now we have 650000 dollars in the ARP budget for this project. So this doesn't seek the budget. Uh, I talked with Mr. Smith who during the ARP discussion uh, added I think $100,000 for some street lighting, and I think we discussed possibly transferring that money for that project and moving it to this project, if y'all want to. And that way you're still using ARP funds and not going back to the general fund to get the cost over. That would be, that's so all. You're looking at 52 being covered in the base amount, and that gives you another $48,000 to cover the windows and anything else that might come up there. I'm a pessimist. I wasn't sure if 750 to get the whole project done, but I think by taking the ARP to drop in that lighter out White Avenue, we can get by without. This is more important for everybody in town to have to have a new city hall. And then I think it's going to probably when all is said and done, it's going to be more than 750. We'll just have to pull that back out of General One and classify it, but you can't tell until you, until you get into it. But we, we can get the 750 and that's a, any extra, we'll just figure out where we're getting from. So I, I, I think, I think yeah, we'll, if we don't pull the trigger on this right now, we'll never do it. We'll never do it. Right. This yeah. is our chance. But I don't want us to let the agreement slide across the room. That's really one of the main things that concerns me. I saw one today with the hole this big in the corner of it. Yeah. yeah, the one back to the platform is one of the worst ones in the whole yeah. building. Yeah. So it's got the whole wall of window sill and brought it out there. Yeah. All the mobile one. And this is too good a building for the windows to fall out of. Yeah. And that's sure. a problem that this, I just hate that this does not include that. So this is a lot of money. Yeah. And the main thing that needs fixing is not included. Yeah. Well, but it will at least tell us what we because if we, if we put the te the testing's in there right now the water testing the water testing in there. so it will tell us here's what we're needing so what is above 750 then at least we have a plan going forward of how big the problem are we going Stuff and everything, and we 
well, get a brush cutter and put on this. It'll be like a bush all in front, six foot. We'll be able to cut the uh, uh, grass at the well field. We'll be able to cut areas that were, were uh, cleared and got back in good shape with the uh, forestry management. And uh, we'll be able to get this machine in a lot of places around the lagoons, around the fencing, and things like that that we never could get our tractor. We've got one tractor that's uh, a little uh, blue new model tractor that had uh, some failure of the return hoses of the diesel and the <coughs> damage they acquired on it so we may not able to get one. Benson uh, made a repair to it but every time we get ready to use it, the batteries down we wanted to come on the batteries by driving completely down so we want to get this and hopefully in the future you know, put that out there with the deals or something. This is in the Quite a bit of solids built up in the first 
first sale for a second. So we can get that solid removed and get the lagoon back up to its uh, peak capacity on those two uh, areas. And we have some money in there for some screen, which will hopefully remove some of that solids, put it into a dumpster and haul it as it comes in instead of it laying out there. It costs hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to come. And then we've got some kind of uh, replace the cast iron line, which uh, is, we've had a lot of trouble with uh, North Avenue and uh, some of the side, a couple of the side streets that are still cast iron there. And then we've got some lining of some sewer, uh, actual play pipe in there is very similar to what we did with the line under Gray Hall. We did some there areas where we picked up the fish on the bottom by nine. All we want to do is North Avenue before we pay you.
trust what Gerald's identified his needs. He knows. So. I make a motion that we pass the resolution. The motion to pass the resolution. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. Is just any discussion on the resolution? Seeing none, we'll call both of Mr. Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Butler? Yes. Mr. Maynard? Yes. All those in favor, one absent. Resolution passes. Next item on the agenda is item J. Discuss the center line Deputy Fire Chief uh, Robert to hire for uh, the newly created full time fireman position.
one of your firefighters comes up for our base, they don't work and perform to the fire department. And without that, uh, we wouldn't have survived this one. Part-time, do their full-time jobs, some of them have other part-time jobs. Okay. 
uh, what he adds to. I don't know. That's the thing is, you know, we don't know his personal issues. Kevin may know better. Uh, the other part timers did pull one 24-hour shift. The shift, what we call the fire chief shift on TV. Yeah, the shield. So, so he was able to pull that one. And the other 24-hour shift was split between Kevin and Michael. Question. Uh, 
uh, the, the bed guy was out. I called him this afternoon again trying to get a final number, so I don't have it. But he said his bed guy is out because they're changing the price for the bed because we're changing the type of bed, not the size of it. So we don't have a final number, but he's going to be between 60 probably and 63, I'm guessing, on this truck. So I'm basically $13,000, $14,000 short in the budget. So the question is, the truck is going to be a 2023 year model, and for 2023, Ford is cutting their fleet discounts by probably a two-thirds. Uh, I was able to get a 2022 Ranger, and the discount on it was $6,000. On the 2023, it's only $2,600. That's on the Ranger, so this truck will be even more so that something else is hurting us on the price, so this will be next year model truck. It'll be a year plus delivery now. So it's on down the road, we'll keep it easy. So, uh, 55 and 20. Uh, no, no, there's no out So uh, we ordered the Ranger. We held up on the other ones and we talked to y'all and decided what y'all want us to do. Carter has no other money for equipment purchase in his budget anyway. We didn't put him any other money for equipment purchase. Uh, one option is take it out of street value. I think we still have approximately twenty something thousand dollars left in ARP funds that we could use. Uh, that pretty much wipe out ARP. Well, when I discussed that, I think that's I mean that way we put the ARP is done, it's all committed. We don't have to worry about it. Thank you. 
course, they do it for police chiefs, they do it for other positions also. Uh, I sell an assessment one time for a police chief in some of the town court business. I don't know what the name of the town was now. But anyway, uh, it is a program they offer. He just offered. He wanted to know if we would be interested. I didn't know what to tell him, so uh, we haven't ever done this in the past with the department heads. Y'all may not want to do it with this one. It's totally up to y'all, but I do have to get some scheduling done with them if they if they are going to be expected to do the assessment center in order to not slow down the hire. Is there a cost? There is no cost in my mind. Is this a personality? Uh, uh, yes, they do some personality testing. They do interviews, you know, case scenarios and different things. Uh, of course, I was only in on part of the program that I attended. Uh, we interviewed all the candidates. And How long does it take? Huh? Uh, they normally do the assessment over a day or two, uh, depending on when they get the candidates there. But uh, one week, I believe it was only one day. Uh, but, you know, you do have to get on their schedule and make sure they can get it set up. So I would need to be contacting them right away to see if we can get something set up and I'll help them. You know? As I said, it's not totally new. Y'all may not want to do that. But do they have the tool and the readout to kind of show you what? The end product is. Yeah. I think. Now you don't have to select the one they score by. It's still totally up to the right. board and right. how to go about that. But they don't look at you know situation, personality. If you're you know they're they're flying somewhat blind by doing a review of the candidates based on their qualifications and their responses to questions and their standards. So one thing Jim mentioned to me, I thought I don't want to know their ranking. I don't want to be identified four or five and we would do our own interview and then kind of see what we said. See so if we five. rank them like they do? Yeah. <laughs> we don't. Why? What, yeah. What What's the difference? What they said if we didn't see. Or what did, how they answer something that was just a little right. quirky because you know that can happen if you answer on a scale from one to five and you say three a lot because there are circumstances that go either way then sometimes you get the cages I'm not promoting it. I just wanted to just throw it out there and get y'all to. Believe me, the three of us were in that session with the impasse consultant yeah. uh, that was talking about this service. Yeah. And I felt like, with as crucial as this position is for the safety of our citizens, the city as a whole, I feel like it's worth going through, taking a little bit of time since we're not looking typically. Or, you know, we're not talking another month of testing and interviewing and all that, that it would be well worth our while. Yeah. Especially if there's no cost associated with it. And do they send that, like, to them in their email where they can take it at home and then it sent back for grading? Or, you know, uh, that part I really don't well, like. Well, because that's something, even if they're working, then they do it. They still, right. I asked him to send me sort of a summary of the assessment center. The mayor, I think I forwarded it to you just the other day. Uh, I can forward that to y'all. It, it looks like y'all have like y'all are interested. You know, I, I, I've got to go ahead and see if he can get it scheduled. He may tell me he just can't get to it when we meet. If you know, that's the case, we'll sort of move on. But uh, I'll send that to you first thing in the morning. Let y'all look over it. And if y'all want me to go ahead and get maybe clarify a few things and make sure they can get it on the schedule. I'm assuming deadlines the 30th. We need the first couple of weeks of September. They need to. Yeah, I'll tell them. We all probably need to do that after it's first. We probably do that the first week. Yeah, just as long as we don't get in this situation where we get biased because of the school or something. We can't go through stuff like that. They act here. So we do not take that score for, you know, it's right because of certain people who react. Some people test very differently than like the reality. Yeah. So once we usually select this board, yeah. it's yeah. our school. Y'all may be an application probably the first week of October probably. Then, you know, they'll have to schedule second third week of October for the assessment center again. And then y'all can review their results and y'all results and everything and uh, interview yourself however you want to do it. And then uh the like like November meeting, you know, unless you call a special session before y'all leave the session you can hire right. if you're to that point where you can. But that's sort of the target. I would be probably looking at for y'all approving a candidate. It would be the for me, but I'll say I'll be getting done. I'll probably get done. I'll probably get about that term. Maybe you call a special session for a minute. Good. Well, we'll just see how things go. Set the session. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
see what our applicants look like over there. Yeah. So do we need any kind of motion to do we'll that? Get back, we'll get back to y'all on that one. Okay. Yeah. We'll just get back. We'll email you that tomorrow. And y'all have any questions, get with Jim. If y'all turn Jim loose, he'll, he'll, he'll do that. I'll take our app forward with